Okay, so we've got it now that we can switch to Bob, our new pawn, when we shoot him with the link gun beam, and that uh, only um, us doing the shooting will cause the swap over. So we won't, we won't suddenly swap if he gets shot by one of the other bots in the game. But uh, how do we make it so that when Bob shoots the old body, or when we inside Bob shoot the old body, we swap back to the old body. Well, let's have a look at the kismet for this. Now, um, at the moment, uh, we have a lot of these player zero um, things. I say a lot, we've got two. Um, but the uh, there is a problem if we uh, simply try to swap back to player zero from being Bob, and that is, Player zero refers to us, the controller, the actual person doing the input. It doesn't refer to Bob or the old body. And so if we try to swap from Bob to player zero, nothing will happen because Bob is now player zero. So how do we make it that uh, instead of these sorts of player zero references, uh, we have references to the old body in which to uh, swap back to. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a very complicated way of saying things, but you'll get the picture once uh, once we set it up. Uh, you can see here that we have our actor factory, and the pawn that is spawned from our actor factory is called Bob. Well, we can also set up something similar here, so that when we touch this trigger and cause the actor factory to create Bob. Uh, we can actually um, create, or, or we can have an object variable of the person who touched the trigger. And so, I'm just going to create a new object variable, and I'll bring this down here. And just as we did here, I'm going to name this object variable. The variable name I'm going to give it is Bill. So now we have Bill and we have Bob. So just to see if this works, if this is a, a way for the computer to register that uh, Bill is actually the person who touched the trigger and we don't have player zero, um, uh, ha have references to player zero anymore, just going to copy and paste one of these named variables of Bob, but I'm going to change the variable name to Bill. I'm going to break that connection and connect to Bill instead. Paste another one of uh, Bob. In fact, it's quicker to do this. And I'm going to break this connection to player zero and connect that up to Bill. So let's see if that still uh, works in terms of uh, swapping to Bob. Wait for five. Yep, we still swap, but of course we have no uh, kismet in place to swap back. Well, the actual um, kismet in order to be able to swap back, just get rid of these now that we don't need them, the actual kismet that we need to swap back, uh, well, it's such a simple process, you won't believe that it works. I hardly believe that it works. So I'm just going to select this, and we're going to move this up. About there. I might just sort of streamline this a little bit. Now, I'm going to select it. Control C, Control V, and bring this down to here. And I'm just going to connect from the finished output to the input on this new chain. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, and wherever it says Bob, I'll change it to Bill. Wherever it says Bill, I'll change it to Bob.
Now, I'm not sure why it um, it works like this. Why um, actually naming the instigator over here on the uh, touched or trigger touch um, instigator? Why that refers to the the old body and not the actual player doing the um, uh, doing the touching? But if we come into the game and try this out, you can see that it works. We can now swap back and forth. Or we would be able to if our triggers worked more than once. And so we might just fix that now. Just come in here to the uh, uh, take damage uh, event and uh, while I'm here I might take off the link plasma that we set up in the last video and I'm going to set the max trigger count to zero. I'll do the same for this one down here. So now if we test it We can swap back and forth to our heart's content. Of course, every time we shoot um, Bill or Bob, it's hard to keep track of who we are. Am I Bill now or am I Bob? You'll notice that we lose uh, five health. If you can just see the top half of the numbers at the bottom of the screen. And so, it does add a certain amount of um, tactical strategy to the game, because there are two limitations. Firstly, there's distance. Somebody's out of range, you can't swap, uh, you can't swap to them. And also, you have to be able to justify swapping in order to um, justify the loss of five health because if you swap too many times you're going to kill your other character so there we go uh, you can set up all sorts of puzzles with this system in play now there are a couple of um, ongoing issues with this and these are things that we can fix in Kismet and uh, so we will go into those in the next video.